Well, hey everybody, gonna try another live today in a different location. So hopefully the Wi-Fi is going swimmingly. Um, so what do you do when the first job doesn't go as you expected or it's a, a more than a bit of a disappointment? Is it time to throw in the towel so to speak, and just give up the career. Um, I had those thoughts in the first job when the managing partner reneged on a um, a raise that he kind of held that out there when I interviewed, that after six months we would consider a review and a raise. It was hard to swallow when none of that came through I waited for I waited until the seventh month um, because I was at a very low salary and I was traveling 40 miles one way and I had learned a ton I had stepped up to the plate I took this on and excelled in it and went to a class to learn some legal terminology because there, frankly there weren't a lot of books out there and put a lot of effort in and liked working there, liked the paralegal I worked with, with the, which is saying a lot because sometimes personalities are, you know, we clash. Um, it was a good fit. However, I couldn't trust what would happen. And so at the seventh month, when I, when I met with the managing partner, um, he had, you know, no memory, quote unquote, of that discussion during the interview. It's good when you're in the interview, um, and this is just one interview tip, to write down that conversation and what you discussed, okay? And if if something is, is or a promise, a supposed promise is made, write that down. There's not a whole lot you can do about it if they renege, because they're not gonna put it in writing usually. Um, but my my thing is, if it's gone south, if after six or seven months, and that's what I tell you, uh, you know, I tell most of my students, you should try to stick it out for a year. Um, I felt that I had nothing to lose by trying to go into a bona fide real paralegal job where what I was working in was a legal receptionist, legal secretary, although I was doing paralegal work. Um, I decided that there wasn't a future for me there on many levels, okay? So I decided to give my notice after I had landed a job. And I went into personal injury and took what I learned preparing for trial and took that to that law firm. I still had a ton to learn and I was flying by the seat of my pants. So that's usually how it goes in those first two to three years. Um, and I went into a completely different area of law. And that made me more well-rounded, to be honest. I was more marketable because I made that move. So if things go awry, if they don't go as well as you expected because you were glamorizing being a paralegal or you had such high hopes that it was beyond being realistic because sometimes first jobs don't pan out. Sometimes the fifth job doesn't pan out. The better, the, the uh, more efficient you are and the better questions you ask in an interview, the better you'll land a job that is a fit for you. And that's what I want for all of you listening right now and watching this on replay. I want you to land that job that is a fit for you on every level. That it'll be a fit for your personality, a fit for your skill level, which a beginner position will be, okay? They know you're a beginner, all right? I Now, let's, you can watch some of my previous videos, especially the last, I would say, five videos watch those okay um, binge watch on Facebook or if you're on um, YouTube on my YouTube channel 
you can binge watch there and take notes with your trusty notebook, which I always carry with me. In fact, I have to get a new one. This one is just done. There are no empty pages. So track what you learn. You have to be able to communicate how you're going to help that attorney. And when, when you're trying to land your first job and your second and your 10th, always try, you have to communicate how you're going to help that attorney. If you get yourself in a bind, you have to chalk it up to experience. There's no harm, no foul. Don't think it's, it's falling down and failing and that you're not meant for this. That's giving up way too soon. Okay? So when I interview, I interviewed at a couple places for my second job and no one would bite. No one would hire me. But the third or fourth interview, I can't remember which one, um, that attorney, what was the draw for him? One of the main draws is that I had already, I had a little bit of knowledge, not much, not a whole lot, not, not everything that he needed as a personal injury attorney, certainly not after seven months in the field, but he felt that I would be good with the clients. Okay. There are a lot of things that go through their minds when they're interviewing you. So what is your, how are you going to prove to the hiring attorney? that you are a fit for the job. Again, it, whether it's your first position or your second or third, what I don't want you to do is stop and sit back and go, they all want experience. They don't want experience and they'll bypass that if you prove to them what you know how to do in order to help them in the area of law they work in. I, I cannot say this enough, and you weren't taught that. If you went through a two-year program, I would hands down say you're not being taught that, and also in the certificate program, because frankly, they don't know it from that side. They know it from an attorney side, but not from the paralegal side. So always understand that. Um, you can get in this, this, and you can market yourself you do have to know how to sell your, your skills and what you know. So you've got the tech skills, but what do you have that's, what else do you have? I, not the, I have a strong work ethic, I'm detail oriented, I'm a team player. They expect all that. Pick yourself back up if this is your experience or you feel like that's a a black mark on your life. Don't look at it that way. You know, one time a very unhappy attorney, when I gave my notice, said, you know, you're just a blip on the radar. And that's what I feel about jobs that didn't go well. And I've had those. It was just a blip on the radar. Was that nice of him to say that to me? No. And I would never say that to anybody. I wouldn't say that to an attorney. Um, or any any human but it is just a truly a blip on the radar of your life and now you've got to keep moving forward so don't please don't let that stop you if it was a sour grapes kind of ugh, it was horrible um, or they were so they were so rude you know I've had students tell me this that they counted on this being their entry and it didn't pan out that way so then you've got to go, okay, I am worthy, I am special, you know, and I can do this and I have a lot to offer and then go forward. You know, when I had jobs that were not pleasant and I've had those, then I, it, you know, that yes, it I, I felt like I was taking a mental hit, but then I needed to support my family. So I didn't have a choice to wallow in it too long. I wallowed a little bit. But then I had to go, okay, let me see what's next, and I'm going to just go forward, okay? Keep moving forward. Even if you have that, ah, they struck you out, big deal. There are more, more jobs out there, and yes, people will hire you. Attorneys are willing to hire you without experience, but you have to keep your end of it up. Watch some of my previous videos so you understand more. Let that seep in. 
don't let that go over and keep buying into that assumption that they don't hire people without experience. We all started without experience, okay? That's not the reason they're not hiring you. It's because you're not proving yourself in certain areas, okay? All right, so remember, scroll down, look through the feed on Facebook for information about the May 15 launch of the Paralegal Inner Circle class and the Cover Letter Secrets class. People on YouTube, go to the description box and there are links there. There are free resources for both Facebook page, Paralegal Coffee Talk, and my um, YouTube channel. So description box will give you free resources. Look through those. Free webinar. Facebook page. Scroll down and find that stuff and take advantage of it. Okay? All right. Got to run to an appointment. Uh, during my lunch hour, so I will talk to you in the next video. Questions, comments, post them below, and I will see them when I'm off here and answer later. Have a great day. Bye.